Hello, welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Part 15. Yes. And I forgot what we were doing. We were going to Shinjuku. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Please stop doing that. Why? Because it's really creeping me out. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Just shut up! <laughs> what? What's wrong? Can't I be annoying while you be annoying on it's, my it's, let's play? It's not annoying, it's just <laughs> creepy. What's wrong with being creepy? <laughs> You're just weird. I ever drink bellies from a show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all green. I'm all green! <laughs> Is that even a thing anymore? I don't what? know. Like, I haven't watched Matty Bush in a long time. Oh! Oh, it's this place. Oh, no, we're going to yeah. fucking see that guy. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's Arata. We Hello. know what he does. We know what he does. But we can't say anything I because know. we don't know yet. Oh, he's a dick. One well, of the things I can't tell if he's a dick. I, I there is a massive plot hole in this game. I don't and it's him. He is the plot hole. I have no idea. I hate this one. To be quite honest, she makes she makes more better for a fucking decent storyline than he does. I know, but she's like, you know, oh, you're looking at me funny. I'll arrest you. I don't know. It's one. It's like this is a Japanese stereotype, unfortunately. I see. <laughs> oh no. Oh really? <laughs> So she's like a more interesting character than Arata is. It is interesting, it's just a bit of a dick. Well, the stuff has been a dick, it's like... He, I don't know if it, it... I can't tell if it's like a, if it was a plot hole later on. I'll point it out, if I remember. Um, <clears throat> but what he does just made no sense of thinking, why is he doing this now? What, what happened for like this thing to happen? Yeah. And then... Uh, it's just like, all right, we're accepting this now. Okay, he's a dick then. He's like just self-proclaimed dick. Is this place real? What's going on? This is too strange. I can't make heads or tails. Duh. What's a tail? <laughs> it comes out the ass. Oh, a butt plug tail. Okay. There's poo in there. <laughs> we're not having an episode talking about poo or bums or anything of the sort. We're gonna behave. So you you don't like bums? We're gonna behave. You don't like butts? I like big butts. I cannot lie. You have to do that, didn't you? I did. You're a scumbag. <laughs> I, I thought that's what you set me up for. I, well, it yeah, but I wasn't actually intentionally trying to set you up to say I like big butts and I cannot lie. You on the other channel uh, Well, yeah, I do like big butts. I I want a Digimon. Uh, you Ooh, have we can turn into a black uh, Garurumon. I forgot his name. Garurumon. Gawuwu. Gawuwumon. Oh, he's so black and shiny and black. <laughs> oh, well, it makes more sense than Blue Greymon. <laughs> yeah. Blue Greymon is just like. I don't know. They should have. Yeah, they should have sure. added his stripe textures to it because it, uh, it it looks weird without his stripes. What do we have? What do we have? Do we have a geo? That's, that's a geo Greymon, Growlmon, Miramon, Tyranimon, Black Gold Grey. Well, sorry, Black Greymon. No, Blue Greymon. Yeah, man. Did you What are you turning me to? Ow, man. <laughs> it's the same voice. I know. It's the same voice for all f all of his forms. It doesn't make sense when it gets to Gallantmon. No, like, it really like, doesn't. You got like Takato's and Gallantmon's voice speaking at the same time. I'm just like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no. Like it's like, dear God, I hope to God it doesn't sound like that in a Japanese version. <laughs> Oh. It's like, I'm not like trying to like diss on um, uh, Steve Blue. Steve Blue's voice acting, because Steve Blue's voice acting is fucking awesome. Well, he's in everything. He's literally like no everything. One like, yeah, like no one north. And, he's in uh. That one guy. Dan Green. Dan Green's in everything. It's like in Yu Gi Oh! Sonic X. I don't know who Dan Green is. I'm sorry. He did Yugi. 
Um, oh. Okay. Um... Then there's also uh, the guy who, the voice of Dr. Eggman. The current voice, the, the, the voice of Dr. Eggman from the point that the four kids uh, cast went into like Shadow the Hedgehog, who has been like the voice of Dr. Eggman ever since. I don't know what you're on about. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally zoomed out. I'm lost. <laughs> so. Like, you don't know who the current voice of it. I can't remember. Um, no. no. Mike Pollock. That's his name. Okay, I'll just say your word on it because I don't actually know. It's Mark Pollock. He's like been the voice of Dr. Eggman since Shadow the Hedgehog. Right. Which is a long time since all the other voices for Dr. Eggman hasn't lasted that long. I think there's only been two voices. Unless you count the American TV show. Zzz. Zzz. Then there's been like... Five? Or four? I can't remember. Oops. Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Koromon, Dokomon, Sunamon, Wanyamon, Pokemon, Funimon. Do they even speak? Oh, wait, no, yeah. Uh, Dokomon has spoken. I remember Hi, my name's Bonamon. <laughs> That's some butch Pokemon. <laughs> wow. What, what steroids did we give him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just want to train up all these introdings. Digi steroids. Um, you'd have to go further into the what you call it for it to. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, because he gets really weak ones. Uh, yeah, it's alright, better than no. Attack him! It's not like we're going to try and get three platinum super. It's, it's not like and we're going to try and then, and then all you get to see on the screen in the fight <laughs> is shit. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it sums up this perfectly. <sighs> Feces everywhere. Well, to be honest, that's what half of everybody... If everyone knows their exploit, that's why pretty much the whole game for everybody now. It has been Who for everywhere. <laughs> Just like Platinum Numamon, Platinum Sukumon. <sighs> Poo. Basically, everywhere. in case you are not aware, um, Platinum Sukumon's ability and Platinum Numamon's support skill are that they can... Increase um, the amount of experience you gain in the battle. Now take three of those in a team, and it times it it times it by four, I think. Um, you can also get a tactician USB from the farm, which we'll be working on soon. Um, which also to, increases it. to do the same thing. And Platinum Sukumon holds two. And Platinum New Run holds three. So if you stick the three of them in your team with Tactician USPs, you get insane XP. Yes. Especially later on in the game when you get like. Oh god. <laughs> I can't remember how much XP you got that one time. Oh, it just blew my mind. I was like, <laughs> what? It, wouldn't, it wouldn't stop, it was just constant, wasn't it? Just kept on going and going up to the point where like Digimon like level 40 from level 1. That was insane. Hi, my name is Caraman. <laughs> Hi, my name is Caraman. You want, and then there's just like... You wanna play a game? He just warped Digivolves to freaking... There you go, let's increase Ah, my head. Yeah, it completely skips out the champion form, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, not that oh. the champion form would do much. Uh, to be honest, I think the champion form would just do the same thing what Infamon would have done anyway. Which is just like... What? Shh. She's like, ah, I'm part of this. Slam Patamon to the fucking girder and Tentamon. The digital detective is like, I want the job! <laughs> Give me your job! She's like, yeah. I'm like, no, we was um, in a digital limbo body thing and some random. Some, some hot chick with really nice legs. Mm. Yes. Pulled up in a car and asked me to get in. And naturally, being a male, I said, yes, please! <laughs> got drooling at the mouth. And even though she could have like kidnapped me, she's probably the one who drugged me and stuck me in that form. No, it wasn't. Ow! It probably was. It wasn't. Oh. oh. Thanks, mate. Fucking Infamon creeps the fuck out of me in this game. <laughs> Is it the face? <laughs> it's just the face. It's like it. It's like they just mixed the face of a puppet. Stuck it on a six-legged spider. I think it's a six-legged spider. I can't remember. Yes. Um, 
And then it just, the way it moves its head and jitters, and then it's got like that fucking, the spider shooter that comes out of his mouth as well, as it just drops his jaw. It's just fucking creepy. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. And there's like, Dear Boromon. They need to put Dear Bo Boromon's bigger version in it. I still haven't seen that. I saw a bit of it, I saw him get his face chopped. <laughs> it's, I just, I'm just, I'm just like, <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> um, oh, we don't have enough of that yet. Um, what is that one? He needs Steel hack, Will though. Hackmon. We don't. Ah, oh, Cam need... is ten. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the only problem I have with all the other ones. That. <laughs> he is from season eight. Se sorry, season four. Lucimon. Let's just Digimon them all. Falcomon! I imagine he speaks like that. Falcomon! No, he actually doesn't. I can't remember what he speaks like, to be quite honest. Could be worse with that fucking shout, man. Shout, man. Oh my god, I cannot watch season 5. <laughs> oh, not season... No, season 6. Sorry. Is it for that reason? It's, hey, it's not just for that well. reason, it's just that... Now that I know, it's just that the, the voices don't seem to match up with the characters in some cases. The only one that kind of made sense was the Tiny Starmon. Oh, sorry, Super Starmon, because it's like... Mm. It's, just, it's like, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's just like, starts speaking like Johnny Bravo. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm just thinking, okay, yeah, that suits his character. That one's character is... I don't know. Everything that happens in the first few episodes just feels forced and it pushes me away. I get to like the fifth episode and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I can't do it. I just, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I just can't go on. I mean, there's like a weird looking grey mon in it. Yeah. And it doesn't look like it's not grey mon, it just looks weird. It's like a metal grey mon. But it's not. Metal Greymon, but not. Nah. Yeah. I don't know what you're on about. It has no wings. It's got a metal. I think it's got like a metal skull helmet thing. And it's got some weird metal spikes at the end of its tail. Okay. And, and it's apparently called Greymon. And I'm like, that's not Greymon. <laughs> it's not Geo Greymon. It's not Greymon. Tell me everything. Oh. Oh, that's that, that's clearly not the main cast. <laughs> but where's Hugo? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> it's right there. That's not Hugo. Oh, that is Hugo. Shut up, Craig. <laughs> I know what you are referring to. Our audience does not. All two of them who watch this video, apparently. <clears throat> it's probably just us just making sure the video's okay. <laughs> Why won't you love us? I don't care. I care. I'll die inside. <laughs> but yes. To be quite honest, my mind was kind of blown when I, I saw. I had an idea. I was just thinking that was it wasn't the case. We're being followed. <gasps> There's a man. Fuck are you, Swedo? I hate Swedo. I don't think it's, I think it's called Suedo, it's just... He's a fucking creep! <laughs> it's like he's an honest to goodness, straight down to the bare bones scientist, because he doesn't give a shit about everything else. He just cares about results. He doesn't care how he gets them. Oh uh, yeah. Some weird tentacle thing that appears later on. And, oh no, I was just like, oh. I wonder if it's actually okay for us to show one of the ones that come up later. Considering, I am surprised that was in a fucking in, in this. That is warning. This this, game. this episode may contain epileptic fits with the background. No, not that. Well, it, it leads to that. Yeah, I know the fact you're on about. That's just like the fuck. I am waiting for fans to draw this. Probably has already been drawn, I haven't seen it. Or well, people just don't want to draw it because it was actually that weird. 
It's, it's, just, it's just wrong. I, I, I hope the audience aren't watching this for the, for the storyline, because if it is, you're not going to find it. Let's just pause every pa thing. Pause every second. To be honest, now I think about it, like, Fancy Star 2 on anim the animation actually had something like that on the last episode. I was just like, she's naked. Oh. She was, like, she was like full blown naked, just like, <laughs> like, just tied up because she was like absorbed by this big massive creature. And I, was, I just thought, she's fucking naked in that thing. And then when the guy like frees her, all you just see is like her just falling down, just like one bits of like, I don't know, I suppose like some kind of like tentacle rope thing, just covering up her private bits. It's like one string for each. I just thought, wow. They're not, they don't really give a crap. Do they? <laughs> and then there's just like the characters don't even react either when it's like he the guy grabs her and then spoiler alert for those who've probably actually watching Fantasy Star Online I don't give a shit but like and he's like just grabs her like are you okay, are you okay said by I'm like she's naked <laughs> you normally like in a freaking traditional sense. She would have slapped you or screamed or like started struggling and you just go like, what the fuck do I do? She's naked. It was like, oh no, apparently because we're in a virtual world, there's no breasts or nips or any kind of private parts. You're really going full on with this, aren't you? Oh, it's like just, wow. Sega actually let that, although to be honest, the anime, the anime was actually kind of a let down. Sega let this happen, they knew. And they let it happen. It's not that I'm really bothered about it. It's just like, it, just like, it was so random. Because it, it, like, somewhat similar happened earlier in the episode, like, in the series. I'm just like, so, she wasn't naked. Why is she? What's so special that she has to be naked? You know I've never played Fantasy Star Online, right? I've never played Fantasy Star Online because it's never come out over here. <laughs> so how do you know about this? Because I tried to play the Japanese. Why? Because I wanted to play it. Because it, they said, "Okay, we're going to release it over in America, in America and Europe." 2012. We haven't got it. The website's still there. No news has been said. No one's actually said, "Sorry, it's been cancelled," or "No, we're not going to release it because of some sort of reason." It's like, so, no, it just kept some in Japan. sort of reason. Just kept it in Asia. I'm like, oh, that's not racist. I I want. Um... Dead or Alive Extreme 3 for research purposes. They have. The, you can uh, purchase it on Amazon. Uh, but. Amazon Japan now shipped to UK. <laughs> but you, it advises you if you want to play this, you have to have a, um, a. Like, I don't know, like a Korean summer. Like an Asian account. You have to have like a. That shouldn't be a problem. A Japanese account to play it. I'm like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I can do that. I'll make it a separate account. It sucked that you'd, uh, you won't be able to have trophies on your other accounts, but you'd have to make a, a region So you really want trophies thing. on your account? I would make a new account just so none of my friends knew I was playing this game. <laughs> to be quite honest, it's kind of too late for my Xbox one because I've got Dead or Alive Extreme 2 on that. Oh, you are a sick person. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with the game, although some of the swimsuits are kind of questionable. Very yes. questionable. They're, they're literally strings. I mean, I'm just thinking, how the fuck are they not falling out? <laughs> <laughs> Normal booze don't what? move like this. What? It's, it's not to us. They actually, you'd be very surprised about how firm they are, but those breasts are very, very, very... Bountiful. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Oh, uh, when I saw it, that was when I was like, "Brown." Well, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, why me? <laughs> but, oh, okay. Um, freaking hell. You got a bit carried away there, didn't you? Ah, uh, it's like, it's breast, man. Stop thinking it's of just breast. breast. <laughs> it's just, no. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, indeed Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, come on! Like, even like, women freaking have a high respect for boobs. 
and shit. If you're a lady and you're single, please call Craig. Craig needs the attention. What? Bless. I'm always like this. I was like this when I was going out with somebody. Oh. Don't, in that case, don't go near Craig. He is a sexual predator. <laughs> I am a deviant. No, I'm not. And he will steal you and shove you in a van. What? When have I ever done that? Like, twice since I've known you. I don't remember this. Well, you did it back in school. <laughs> I've never met you at school. You did it back in school because you stole your teacher. Hey, which one? I, all of them. <laughs> oh! There were some disgusting ones at school. Oh, all the teachers. <laughs> nah, there's, there's only there's only two. This one's gonna be. Actually, one. I'd say there's like three. This is gonna be one long episode. Back in school, I actually uh, would have. Would have. Yeah. Quite. Well, I was like, you know, there's yeah. a film based on that fantasy. It's like. Would've. It's it's called. Um, uh, that's my boy, <laughs> and it's an Adam Sandler film, unfortunately. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll find these. Oh my god. Yeah, basically, he has sex with some teacher in school. She's then pregnant, and for some reason, Andy Samberg's son is. No, Andy Samberg. Sandler. Adam Sandler. Adam, Adam Sam, Adam is. Adam Sandler. Adam. Adam, but Adam Sandler is the dad who has sex with the teacher. And then, my name's Andy Samberg. <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense. It's a really shit film. Don't watch it. Well, I. Most Adam Sandler films are garbage. No, this the I don't know I don't know what it is. It's like it's a load of guys going. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's just like Adam Sandler's just trying to make some kind of uh, statement on like certain things or something like that. Have you ever seen Pixels? No, I don't. Don't wanna. see Don't see Pixels. It's not bad. You just might have to bleach your eyes afterwards. All I know, all I, all I know is, is it's um, even what would you call it? Can't do the f the film justice. Dinglish. Yeah, Peter Dinglish. Oh dear. I'd say that he's a bad actor, but I mean, then again, even like in Destiny, look, like, I I don't know what it. I don't know. The what wizard he, must have came from the moon. <laughs> it's like he's he's playing a fucking soulless machine. I don't know if the machine's solo, so I'm just guessing. He's, he's playing a fucking... He's, he's playing a drone. Like... What do you expect? Um, people expect miracles. Stangman! I mean, when I, I was, like, when I was listening to it, I just thought, what is wrong with his... What's wrong with the voice acting? I don't see what's wrong with the voice acting. Why does acting. the camera have to be so goddamn high? I don't know. But then, then they repl then replace him with no one off. No one off is, doesn't do a bad job either. Yeah, maybe not for that. It, I don't know, it just, the guy just, the robot just seems too... Um... Energetic, I suppose? Oh, this guy needs cam for everything. Well, yeah. Let's, uh... You've got to put in the effort, bro. I don't want to put in any effort, I'm going to... Ram meat down his throat. Oh. <laughs> oh, ma. <coughs> Oh my, I'm gonna ram meat down this guy's throat as well. Wait, what are you trying to get? Everything. All oh, the Digimon! <laughs> I want another Platinum Super. I think all I need to do on Digimon now is just get Ultimates and Megas. I've got all the champions except Lucemon. Well, you know, just to let this episode not run on too long, that's the end of part 15, so we'll be back for part 16 shortly. Indeed! Thank you! Goodbye!